Okay, here we are for the Yarnfell Trophy, week number 8. We are up against Sparrows and this will be a post commentary this time. <laughs> because I was sent up for um, recording and when this battle happened it was so late and I was so tired so I didn't want to do anything uh, recording wise. And you can see our team, we have Dragonite, we have Jirachi, we have Joy Specs Jirachi with uh, Doom Desire actually. To try to catch and to catch those Clefable switches when we do get Jirachi uh, on against Clefable. And here we uh, lead with the Girder against Mildank and Ice. With this briefly decided that I will double out here because they want to stay in. And did I go into Jirachi? I actually forgot already. Did I go to Yurachi? Yeah, I went to Yurachi and I like turn two and I get to click Doom Desire right away and I believe they stay in. They stay in to protect. So like, okay Doom Desire. Yeah, I think they are not going to stay in. Like, no way. Because we have choice packs, we can't like do anything else. Uh, but I wanted to bring choice packs once this season and this matchup felt like I could do that uh, pretty okay And uh, we have special Dragonite actually we have Hurricane on it and we have Draco and Something else flame draw and this was so it was to be like Switch for the uh, rain core. They had belly burn and size meter, and size meter felt kind of scary. Um, so I wanted to have like beaver dragonite with like strong moves. So this switch took a lot of time as I thought that what would they go into on this. We go into our Rodom fan because it felt like okay. Plan the yeah, Melmel comes in and Rodom fan is our Melmel ancient. I believe we go for Willowish right away. As they go for Ice Punch, I believe. I believe they go for Ice Punch here. We hit our Willow Wisp. Great! Great, awesome. We have our Willow uh, Handy Dandy Burn. And yeah, they go for Ice Punch. We'll eat this pretty damn well. Pretty damn well. And this is to decide. I used to count this. This is an AV, which uh, kind of cost me later or oh, I make a mistake that I should have not made uh, later in the game. Yeah, I just decided to Thunderbolt here. I like I don't think I have reason to not to. Because I do have pain split. If we fall to have we can just pain split even if this uh mill metal is at like sixty percent we still gain a lot of HP. And other mods are full HP and they are pretty fat with the HP. And they with true uh, I believe it's going to be Clefable, yeah. And this Thunderbolt actually does quite a bit, so we can like, safely assume that this is uh, physically defensive. So maybe I should Thunderbolt here um, to like chip this down. They wouldn't like do anything crazy. I'm going to give Rachi here because it's just free switching. They wouldn't play over here. I don't think so. I can maybe teleport, maybe they wish, they wish, yeah. And here I decided to go for Doom Desire again, uh, because it's free. Like if Mel Metal comes again, uh, it's going to get chipped down, like, a little by little. But instead of Doom Desire, I should have Flash Cannon here. Um, Usually, if they go metal metal here, I can just switch into the Rodon fan afterwards. Uh, but uh, yeah, I do this, and now I'm like, okay, what do I do now? <laughs> Clefable is in, and they can they have protect, so they can protect it. Um, it's uh, really annoying. Which protect Clefable is with aromatherapy? It's like what? <laughs> really annoying, and then they probably have no blast. And yeah, I'm like, what do I go into? <laughs> what do I go into? I don't have like outside of Eros here too many good moves. If I had Flask in it, this Clefe would be dead. Like turn 4 or turn 5 into the match. It's like crazy that they did that. It's like I wouldn't have another Steel Titan. It's 
is kind of weird. Um, but they are going with this uh, again. Because, yeah, the Melmel was pretty, pretty obvious. Because the Duke Desire is going to hit. Uh, next turn. Yeah, I, I pain split. This is a huge mistake. Like, why would I pain split? Like, my brain was, okay, I take the Ice Punch and then I pain split. But wait, they. They are slower. They are a lot slower. <laughs> Then why would I pain split him? Like there's no reason. I should have just feel a whisper. Be safe. But okay, we can still tank uh, ice punch after a villo. After it's back. So no problem. If we, if we miss this, then we are back. Because then our Rod of Venice can die. I guess I could also pain split. That's also like fair play and uh like safe play, but we miss our Willow Wisp. That sucks, but that's due to my mistake of going pain split instead of willow is earlier but yeah it's uh my misplay <laughs> and it cost me a mana sure i could have hit that uh, willow but yeah i should have been clicking willow that turn anyway now i go into dragon eye then they have ice punch they're not burned i was like okay flamethrower like should kill here but it's av so it doesn't <laughs> It's a fat male metal. It doesn't die. I should have gone into good here. Yeah, it doesn't die. Even if they had no AV, I don't think that would have killed. So, ow! And it, and it crit. Damn. We have seven HP. We do have roost, but yeah. So here it's like okay, I could roost, but yeah, it depends on what they do. Like, if they go into play Fable, then roosting is smarter. Well, no. Maybe, like, clicking Flamethrower and then her one Hurricane would probably kill that play Fable. But if they went, like, aggressive play and go into, like, Thunderous without Speed Dragonite, then that's a completely different uh, story. Then it would have been a mistake, not. Yeah. I did Flamethrower. Oh yeah, this. Oh yeah, they got the wish. No, don't. <laughs> Roosting was always the correct play, I believe. Uh, well, if they stayed in, then it wouldn't have been. But yeah, and they avoid my hurricane. But rock. Why? Why would they do this to me? Uh, because like hurricane to hurricane would kill this, and I would like roost if they. Seems to be pressing protect. And I hurt again and I hit. Wow! Good chunk. Good chunk. If I had hit that previous one, it would be dead. But, yeah. Unfortunate. Uh, our Dragonite goes down, which is like. Which kind of sucks. A lot. Because it's one of our only mass which has. Um, recovery on it with Roost. <laughs> so. Oh, our go guys has uh, synthesis as well, but okay. So I go into Euros and I'm going to press that flash cannon so hard, and, like, or maybe I click like, no, I get flash cannon. Like, you are disrespecting my Euros here. Go, go to hell. Just eight flash cannon. Bop. Bike fable. Bike fable. So we are beat on a back foot. Uh, sure, Mel Metal is low, but I have lost Dragonite, which is like super important for like taking hits from Thunderous, and it could help me with Miltank. Okay, so they're going to match him. I was like, okay, well, like if they are AB, knock off doesn't do too much, and I get a choice packs and flash cannon on those. But like if they are AB, I think I would. Maybe to shut it, depending on the board. So I'm like thinking about this. Oh, what do, what should I do? Like they brought this in like for a reason. They wouldn't just be slower and no AV or anything like that. So I just click flash gun. Like okay, I'll take take the damage. And there's scarf. There's scarf choice card. Scarf choice card. Scarf knockoff. Knockoff. Yeah. So now, now my flash gun does peanut damage. <laughs> we get special defense drop. Okay, and I'm like, oh fuck, I need to preserve this thing. 
Uh, so, I'm like, okay, do I go into garden? No, I need my EV alignment on that. Um, do I go... Like, go Geist? Maybe go Geist can take a hit. Like, two knockoffs. Maybe. So I go in and I'll go Geist. I think I calc this even. And he was uh, eating that knockoff. Like, pretty okay. Pretty squeaky. They see the choice card, which we knew. Ow, ow, ow. And yeah, we take under half uh, before our item was. When our item was still intact. So we take even less. Like, I'm here. Synthesis. Or something else. I just think this is like if they decide to knock off, but I, oh yeah, and this thing would have uh, the sap shipper. Yeah, I, I think this should be pig fat, but I I can't say for sure. So I think this is best to save him. And now my like options are really limited since I had Ditto and three months, which one is almost dead. So I figured they wouldn't. Um, I go into my Gerda, because Gerda is fighting that. And fighting that likes Miltank. And here I'm like. Before the match started, I do bulk up, bulk up off from this Gerda for, I believe, Mark Punch. Um, to KO. Thunder is after Rock Slide, and then Mark Punch kills it. Um, and Rain Punch, bam! Yeah, that's, that's not a lot of damage. No, no, no. And we do, like, how much? We, we heal, like, back to full, but they have Rocky Hammer, so we, we are losing this exchange, and since they can't just Milk Drink. So, that's annoying. Uh, we are Sheer Force this week, not... Guts, since your force uh, increases the rock slide's damage on Tandy. So if, if we get para, we don't get the damage boost, which is annoying. We take a huge chunk, huge chunk of from with that rain punch, but they can now milk drink freely. So I think I switch. Oh, I defucked rocks away. Yeah, they, ro they set up rocks when I. Switched Gerda in. Ugh, they are almost that full. God damn it. Ready, fuck. No rocks. And rain bunch. Like, we are not taking too much damage from this. Like, I can rain bunch probably like eight times more. Yummy, yummy, middle tank. And yeah, I was like, okay, I go into my e you now because Aura Spear kills this, and they might not milk drink here. But they set up rocks, which is interesting. They risk it the crit. If I had crit with the drain punch, they would die. So yeah, Aura Spear is here. Um, I believe they... Like, this skill is me open. One half. Well, it's not so spec, so maybe it doesn't, but... It does a lot. And they have body slam. Instead of me drink. The Aura Sphere, they go into Metal Metal and... This should die to at least two Aura Spheres. They die to one Aura Sphere. Damn! Damn you! Year as she claims kill from male metal and the baby this game. And now I'll put my, my opponent has Thunderous left, Miltank left, and here comes Thunderous, which is really annoying at this point. And then they have March Jump, which has Soy Scarf, which is looking to be a really scary win condition. And here, like, they against Dark Pulse. I don't have a like the perfect switching, since my girder is really, really 
Um, weakened, and I need that for Mildenk, so I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can sack my girl for this, because Dark Bulls into Thunderbolt most likely kill us, and this did a lot! It's expert belt damage boosted. Tundi! Uh, yeah, uh, Gorge should drop here. Um, sadly, but... I think I go into... Like, at that point I have a Gerda or Ditto as my option. Which honestly, probably Ditto would be good. And they will switch, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, they... Because they won't switch it, I cannot Ditto this Sunday. And now they can... They probably decide to go... Go to... Mildank? I would imagine. I would imagine, but it's Roddy. It is Mildank. So here I'm... Most likely going to Urasia, yeah, because Orosphere in my head kills. I didn't calc this, because I don't remember calcing it. So, I imagine I didn't. Dark, dark. Rocks dark into Urasia's feet. Little feet. And that's annoying. But yeah, I need to press Orosphere here. They have a pretty free switch in the tund here. Pretty free switching. Yeah, Dandy comes out and we horse and we deal Jack. And here I need to stay in and we die to wall switch or dark bulls, so they're free to wall switch. Which is annoying. Which is real annoying. Wall switch. Ow, and now you rush it drops. Oh, it's Batman. Like, if I had Psychic there. If I had Psychic there. That Thunder would be pretty low. Ditto should be able to claim it at that point. So, like, maybe predicting that turn was my play. And Aurasphere was just playing it too safe. Because, like, even if I kill the mill tank there. Okay, so they go into Tandy next. Uh, what do I do? I... Because Tandy kills Gerda, I believe. Gerda might leave, actually. Mm, if it doesn't take any shit before that. Let me drain much. What plan? So yeah, that turn, I uh, should have reached that. Or oh, will predict that the Swiss and go for Psyche, for sure. Um, and here I'm like, does Magpon skill, maybe, like, the damage look like it should, but I think this is a roll, but Magpon is needed, and it picks up Geo, nice. So yeah, if I had, because now Matchamp is, well yeah, Matchamp probably kill us, and Ditto turned Tandy pretty easily. Which she comes out, which is this thing. And we mark punch because this is faster. And mark punch should do a lot. It should do a lot. What blam! Well, that's a lot of damage. And they shadow ball. So now it's Tito versus the world. Uh, Thunder is a little bit too high HP. If I had Psyche with there, I think. No way. Yeah, this is Psyche. Ice and Psyche. Yeah, knockout from Choice Saga. Choice of Machamp would kill. End up killing this detail, anyways. Yeah. Maybe, like, it could have given me a bit of a chance if I had predicted with the Psychic instead of Horus during the Thundi. But yeah, like, I need to go for Shadow Ball because otherwise they, go into, they are going to Shadow Ball and it hurts. Like a bitch. 
And I, I don't even know if Shadow Ball kills this, to be honest. Like, how strong is Alola, not Alola, Galarian Mr. Mime? Like, how strong can it be? Shadow Ball! But yeah, it kills. Okay, so it's 2 0. Uh, and if I get two crits in a row, maybe I win. Maybe. I don't think Matsamp dies. Matsamp has a lot of special bulk. So yeah, I don't think that that's happening. Yeah, and like this maybe dies to a crit, maybe. We are speed it, it's your expert belt. No, Frit wouldn't have killed. No way. And Dark Blue skills. And it's GG. GG to Sparrows. Um, I sh could have played a lot better this match. And I should have had switched Mark Bulk up away. Because Bulk up would have saved me a lot. Because I could Bulk up against Miltank and stuff like that. And yeah. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. And we will see you guys next week for the last battle of the... Uh, regular season of the WT and we are up against oh my god it's Irish Emerald yeah Irish Emerald and I hope you are excited for that one and maybe we can snag another win for this uh, playoff run but anyways thank you for watching we'll see you guys then bye